Hello my friends and welcome back to new video. This is the second video about the Jetpack Compose. And in this video I'm going to talk about the structure of the Jetpack Compose project and about the preview of the application UI. So if you are ready, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button and let's get started. Let's start with making a new project. As you may remember in the previous versions of the Android Studio, I mean lower than Flamingo, the default was on the MTView activity, which was the uh, classic Android system with the XML UI. But as you see now, it's by default on the MT activity of the Jetpack Compose. So the Google is encouraging developers to migrate from the classical Android system to the Jetpack Compose uh, Android app development. Okay, the project is created, the build is done, and I have installed the application on the emulator. So you can see how uh, it looks like. Let's start with the uh, uh, structure of a project. As you see here, we have the manifest folder and it's unchanged in the Jetpack Compose in comparison to the classical Android system. Uh, again, you have the activity tags, the application tags, and users' permissions will be here. The grid is the same. Didn't have any change. In the resources, we have the drawable, we have the values, and XML. In the XML, we have just some uh, parental files, and we don't need them. We don't use them, actually. We need them. In the values, we have the colors. We have the string that holds only uh, the name of the application for now, a theme, and it's just the name of the theme, and the uh, colors as I said. And the drawable for the graphical uh, matters, files. And there is no layout here. And in the Java, Again, we have three packages, two of them for the test, and one of them is holding another package and the main activity. So you can see the main activity here. And in this package, we have three more files. Again, one file regarding to the colors. Another file regarding to the default theme of the application. Uh, for the light color scheme, dark color scheme, and here... You will see this is the name of the application and word theme is added to it. So Jetpack Compose example theme. And uh, checking the version of the uh, Android system, the Android API and other stuff. And we have another file it's related to the text type of data. The font family, weight, size, and everything about the text. Now let's go to the main activity and see what do we have here. Let me zoom a bit. Okay. As we don't have any XML layout, so the layout and the logical uh, codes are located in the main activity uh, here so how we should know which one related to UI and which one is related to the uh, logical codes so we are going to divide it into parts logical codes have the functions starting with a small letter just like on create but the UI file which are the composable uh, functions are starting with the capital letter 
okay and they have uh, composable annotation so here in the set content which is the set content view equal to the set content view in the classical android system we are doing all of the logical uh, calculation and everything and the codes and the result can be passed just like this in this case is a hard code the android we are passing it into the composable and the ui is created here uh, this data will be implemented on the ui and it will be displayed in the emulator here we have the code the spirit and the design and we can split it to see the preview here the live preview is on on my uh, android studio and uh, if in your system is off you can click here and in the setting in the live edit actually in the editor in the live edit uh, mine is uh, enabled and uh, if you want to disable it you can click on this and put it on manual or reverse of it okay what we have here here we have another composable uh, function with another annotation which is preview and this function will give us a preview of the ui that we are creating here the composable function which is the main function of the ui in this case should be passed here into this uh, preview function uh, either inside the theme or without the theme it can be passed here also and we can delete this and it works so let me wait okay preview is done and you see it's unchanged uh here there is a background for the preview and it's implemented only on the preview so i'm going to change it to false and you see there is no background here if you hold the mouse on the preview you see that uh, we can have multiple other materials to implement it uh, to be implemented on the preview composable function just you need a comma and you can add a name for example the preview is done and you see greeting preview mkr developer the name uh, that i wrote here uh, again i'm changing back to true okay so what is the difference between this uh, theme and implementation of the greeting function here and here in the preview if you are doing some changes here and the same changes is not here the thing that you are seeing here is preview but uh, when you are installing the application on the emulator you will see another thing so just like that i'm changing the greeting to mohsen here my name appears but let me install it on the emulator and here is a still hello android so if you want to see both of them uh, just equal you should do all of the changes that you are doing here uh, here as well uh, the other things that i wanted to tell you is about the surface 
don't worry i'm going to make a video about the surface but here i will give you a short uh, uh, introduction uh, to be a bit more familiar with the uh, uh, structure of the jetpack compost this surface is this white area and as you see in the greeting function we have only the text let me change it to false again This hello android is a text, a pure text without any background that is created here uh, in this text and we are implementing it on top of this surface here. So this is the surface and on top of it we have this text. So in the emulator we have the text and we have the surface and if I'm changing this color for example. now you see that i have uh, the red area which is the surface and the text on top of it so you can have some part of the ui here as you see and some other parts of the ui here uh, we have a lot of different things just like images boxes cards and uh, the other things that we can implement them here and here but I prefer to have uh, like composable function which are related to the UI separately here and here only the logical code okay uh, that was everything about this video and in the next video I'm going to delete all of this material here and we will create uh, our uh, first own project and we will work on that one so if you want to see that video subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up hit the bell button to be aware about that video and have a good day bye bye